Hey everybody, it's my lady in the background doing really nice. I love slow jam. Don't judge me. Anyways. Anyways, I'm reading another video. And the video today is very it's very specific to the specific group of people I like to target. Today is just my message is to the college students. I know being a college student nowadays is like it's one of the I don't know what else to say. I've been there, I've done it. I can't deny the fact that it's just very stressful. It's the most stressful thing you could ever think of. I will not say the most stressful thing you could ever think of. It's the most stressful thing you could ever be in it, you know what I mean? Um, so my message is very straightforward is I'm just would like to advise like college students that to be very careful with the careers they choose the first thing I always tell people when people ask me yes I am graduated and you know in the process of finding more interest in the things that I would like to do People are like, what do you want to do? It's like, I don't know. I know, I I mean, like, you don't know what you want to do, by the way, because with time, your interest builds. So the first thing I like to advise students, like college students, is first define your interest. That's the number one list you have out there. It's not about the money. It's not about how much. Yeah, it's not about how much your parents are going to spend. Or how much, you know, which school you want to go to, the most expensive school or the most number one university known in Canada or college or any, not just Canada, any other part of the world, they have colleges and universities. That should not be the first method you have or the first thing in the least. Your least need to indicate the first thing is interest. What is your interest as a person? What are you going out there to pursue? Like so that in the future, we define that as having a career. So that's the first thing I always tell students, your interest. It's not about any other person's interest, just say your interest is a person. You can't just be like, oh my dad is a doctor, I'd like to be a doctor. No, that's not what, that's not your interest. That's your dad's interest. That's what his career is or her career is. So I was very, I'm always very straightforward to students, like find your interest. Uh, if you're interested in psychology, you know, there's different areas of psychology, for example. If you're interested in biology, there's different areas of biology. If you're interested in, um, in let's say, um, health psychology or whatever that is, it's just your interest. What I'm trying to say is first know your interest. And then second of all, um, do you really have the finances to finance your school? The reason I say this or I ask these questions is because nowadays we students, university, college students graduate with so much, with so much um, debts, you know, student loan. That's what people don't know out there. It's not easy. Um, so one thing is, are you ready to pay? Are you ready to take the loan? Or are you ready to spend the extra money on that? You know, extra money in like, I were able to work harder at school and also think about having a part-time job. So some of the things you need to have in your mind. If you're thinking, if your student would like to go to university, those few things you like to. You can also save money if you like decide I'll stay home with my parents. And that's what you, you know. And if someone out there who is very, you know, fortunate to have their parents put money aside, you know, you can go to university with that money. But for people like us, who will have to work hard every day to make sure we go to school get student loan, also work part-time to support family here and there. It's not easy. So to my fellow people out there who might not have, you know, the fortunate thing I was talking about before, just be cautious about what you do. So that when you spend the money on the school you like to go for, or the degree, or whatever you like, or diploma you like to get, let it be something that interests you. Let it be something you say, even if I get debts, even if I need huge debts for that, it's my interest. 
and as, rather than later on in life be like oh I spending money on that degree it's not what I liked you know what I mean so it's not worth it what I'm saying is do not spend your money on what is not worth it at the end of the day and if you're not sure about your degree or your interest give yourself time that's what I always tell people give yourself time time will heal everything it will change everything time is the answer to everything if you just want to travel around a little bit if you have enough money that is 